Dear family, I lost my patience today. Lord, please forgive me for my attitude. Forgive also my sloth in not wanting to jump up and serve you with gladness. In the person of my husband, who I am so grateful for, Jesus answered me, Watch your attitude carefully and do not be too self-secure. That is why I gave you the rhema of self-righteousness. Pride precedes a fall, beloved. That is why I'm cutting you back now. Thank you, Lord. Could you please help me? Take care to wear the garment of humility and patience first. The enemy can gain entrance through a bad attitude. When you react in that way, you are multiplying everyone's sorrows because the demons go from person to person like a chain reaction. Claire, Satan is very busy right now setting up circumstances for the community to cause monumental division. So keep an eye out for those things that can expand and do damage. In every moment, you have an opportunity to do good or to do badly. Because you are a leader, you must always, you must always set the example. That is why I am so strict with you. Dear family, I lost my patience this morning and was bristly with my precious husband. I am so very grateful for him, but I believe Sloth got the best of me because I didn't want to get up and help him when he called. And mind you, he is bedridden. He cannot do anything for himself. Well, I'm quite ashamed for losing my temper because I thank God for him every day. Well, this time I thought I was justified in being impatient. Uh-huh. <clears throat> so I wrote off my bad behavior. When I went to the Bible promises looking for reassurance from the Lord that this wasn't my fault for a justifying word from the Lord and that he was the problem and not me in this situation, I got self-righteousness. Ouch. I repented for my very bad attitude excuse-making and blindness. Wow, pride has, not e has, pride has no equal in turning things sour. Forgive me, Lord. He is my wonderful blessing to be grateful for all the time. Jesus continued, Do not forget, my beloved, he is your Jesus. Whatever you do for him, you have done for me. Children still under instruction, there are many opportunities for you to do good each day and plenty to do badly. Do not let pain, fatigue, impatience, or distraction cause you to have a bitter attitude towards anyone who inconveniences you or that you might have a judgment against. Rather, recognize your pride and call on me to return sweet waters flowing through your heart. Apologize profusely when you blow it and make it up to others when you have caused them pain. You do not know the day or hour I'm coming for you. Do you want bitterness to be in your heart then? You want that to be the last memory others have of you? Do you want to be left behind? I am not a capricious, I am not a capricious God who would disqualify you for one small misstep, but I am leading you towards perfection. So I would ask you to keep a close guard on your heart attitude. And if it is lacking, go to confession and ask for special prayer. One thing that costs you very little yet does bring things for others. Yeah. One thing that costs you very little, yet does big things for others, is an attitude of brotherly love. Even when you don't feel like it, 
I should say, especially when you don't feel like it. Be an example of patience, kindness, and love. That is the best example you can set for others and yourself as well each day. And that was the end of his message. And I just have a short note here. Family, thank you so much for your kindness in remembering us uh, with donations in this season. We are trying to provide special food for the poor during the holidays. Uh, there are many elderly in our area, and not all of them have relatives that care or even have money to provide special food for this festive season. We've been concentrating on firewood and are pretty well tapped out on that account. But any donation you can help us with will be greatly appreciated. May this be a sweet occasion of the nativity. May this be sweet. Ha. May this be a sweet season of the nativity for you. Warm your hearts and bring you ever closer, ever closer to baby Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Amen.